Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. I have the pleasure of showing you guys all of my favorite beauty finds throughout the year. So I wanted to switch gears just slightly today to share with you some of my other favorite little items that I've kind of picked up in my travels or lack of travels. Wrong expression, I suppose, these days. But you know what I mean. I have some really fun designer finds that I have been just enjoying the heck out of. And some of them are actually some really good deals. So I just picked a handful of all of the things that are making me smile this summer. And I hope they might make you smile too. And I've linked most of them below for you to pick up as well if you'd like to. Let's actually start with the deals. You can't go wrong when you get a deal on Chloe, right? You know, the famous French fashion house, Chloe. So I have a few things I'm gonna share with you and these are linked and they're really good deals. The first thing is I picked up two pair of Chloe sunglasses for summer and I got them at Nordstrom Rack. Like I said, they're linked below and they're really fun. The first are the Chloe Poppy Love Heart sunglasses. So let me show you these. When I bought them with my daughter, she was at first kind of like, oh my God, mom, seriously, heart-shaped sunglasses? I know, I know, I'm probably past the age of 16 and shouldn't be wearing them, but I really don't care. I absolutely adore them and they're little heart-shaped frames. They're not too over-the-top, ridiculous 80s throwback. They kind of work and Chloe, just when you think of Chloe sunglasses, I, I always I always think of this heart shape. Here's the great thing about them. They are normally $420 and I got them at Nordstrom Rack for $79.97. So that was kind of a, a fun find um, and a good deal on, so we, on Chloe sunglasses. And I also picked up these kind of classic, if I can get these out of the light there, yeah, good. These kind of classic um, square black Chloe sunglasses, also for $79.95, and they're normally like $230, but you can get really good deals. Nordstrom Rack is actually really, really good for sunglasses because they have kind of like last season's designer sunglasses at really good prices, and I kind of can't resist French fashion, so I can't really resist Chloe. Just thought I would say that. Speaking of Chloe, I have got to show you some Chloe shoes. So my friend Carla and I have been really into Chloe shoes lately. They make the cutest boots, but I picked up these Chloe Frankie low top sneakers. They are, look at them, they're so cute and they're so perfect for summer and they're so kind of retro sporty and they say, uh, Chloe on the side there. They're brand new and adorable. They come in all sorts of colors. I linked them below. You can get them at Nordstrom's and Saks. I actually linked to the Chloe website below and I'll tell you why. You can get them with the black stripe there, the white stripe, brown, there's a few others. But the orange stripe right now was on sale. That's why I got orange. All of a sudden I loved orange, right? So normally these are like $525 sneakers, which I get it, it's a bit steep for sneakers. And even on sale, they're a bit steep, but I am a sucker for my French fashion. So these are 315 if you get the orange one on the Chloe website right now. And I thought that was really cool and they're beautiful and they come with the Chloe dust bag and all the good stuff that you would want if you were buying a pair of designer shoes. So that was a fun one. Now, unfortunately, we are going to go away from the deals. Sorry about that. And we're going to talk about some of the more, other, some of the other designer items that I have picked up and I want to share with you. Um, two of them are from Marc Jacobs. So this is his signature line, his original line, not the Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs is really cool for bags and clothing and stuff. It's a little bit of his secondary, secondary selections and they're really cute and fashion forward. But I do prefer his signature line. And I have two items, excuse me as I go out of frame here to grab one. I have two items from his signature line that I am just loving right now. And the first is the snapshot bag with Snoopy on it. He did a collaboration with peanuts and you guys have got to see how cute this is. So look at this strap. It actually says Snoopy on it. Snoopy and then it's got two little zippered compartments as you can see right there and a little, you know, spot for some a little card in the back. I like this for summer because I don't like carrying my huge bag around in the summer. Everything just especially in Southern California here, ends up just feeling hotter. You know what I'm saying? So this to me is really, really cute. And you can do 
the strap short and just kind of wear it right here. Or you can do what I do. I just leave it a little longer and it kind of sits by my hip, just like a cross body bag. Um, but you could do it cross body and have it sit higher too. Um, and it's just really cute. And I got to go with Snoopy, I got the little uh, mini compact wallet in Woodstock. So let me show you that. I just love it. It's tiny and this, I mean, I'll use this in other bags as well. And it's just got the little, that reminds me of Woodstock's hair to be honest. And it just kind of does this little zip around and hold your change and then it opens up into pretty much a full wallet size. So I can take all my stuff with me. I emptied it out for this video, but um, I'm really enjoying both of these items. The Marc Jacobs Smash Snapshot bag is 350 and this little compact wallet is 180 and they're both on the Marc Jacobs site. I will update links because I'm sure they'll be coming to other retailers soon if you don't want to just get it off of Marc Jacobs' website. The Snapshot bag is really popular right now and comes in tons of colors. I don't often go in for collaborations except I have two really cool collaborations in this video and one of them is always going to be peanuts the other one is going to be disney you'll see in a moment but those are really really fun now on to the other collaboration that i'm excited about let me reach behind me and grab it here this is this has been my favorite fragrance this summer this is disney house of siage and this one is gifted bless their hearts at house of siage they made my day when they sent me this lovely package. Wait till you see what is inside of this gorgeous case and it smells so good. So I'm gonna describe this to you. This is, as you might know, the House of Siage did a collaboration with Disney. That's the kind of collaboration I can go for, Snoopy and Disney. Um, and this is the Mickey Mouse fragrance. Now look at this first. This is all done up, you know, how House of Siage does it. It's never chintzy. They spare no expense. Look at these Swarovski crystals and this gold. I mean, this is just beautiful. And I don't know, let me hold it up close if you can see. Part of the thrill of owning a House of Siage fragrance is actually holding it in your hand and the way it looks on your dresser. It's just so lush you know it's just it's opulent and it feels that way but the other thing that i like about this the reason i included it in my summer favorites isn't just that they were kind enough to gift it to me but because i happen to love it so this is my kind of fragrance um it's mickey mouse so it's whimsical and young and fun but what i love about it is it's that light gentle gourmand i'm back describing fragrances but I think I could probably do this one justice it's like vanilla and cocoa and it's just so it's so sweet there's coconut in it and I coconut cocoa and vanilla just makes this gorgeous scent it is long lasting but it's not overpowering like this is everything I'm really picky about scents and if they get too floral sometimes I don't like them not always the case but I just I'm picky and I'm bad about um ordering them blind I'm really bad about that so when this came I was crossing my fingers coconut cocoa and vanilla it's just I have it on now. I love this fragrance so much. I'm wanting to know how I'm not kidding here. That I was, I've been actually putting it on in the morning, even before I shower, even though I have to reapply after the shower. I just like it around me. I wear it if I'm alone. And on top of it, it's got this beautiful case. So this just, it makes me happy. So I wanted to share it with you. And I did link it below as well one or two other little things the first is a phone case so i wanted to introduce you i don't have any affiliate links or anything to this it's just something i've been loving and it's a brand called jimmy case if you've heard of them so jimmy case is this cool little uh iphone or you know android case company that does these these handmade wooden cases i'm showing you the back of my iphone and look at this little cherry print isn't that cute this stretchy fabric here is not a sticker you know you can buy a sticker and stick it on your phone to keep your stuff in it it's not a sticker this is part of the phone and this thing stretches so much that in their little advertisements they'll even show them putting like a lip balm in there like it will stretch and then it doesn't stay stretched out it snaps back i have three cards in here and they are so secure they don't go anywhere 
and they're easy to get out. So I don't find myself clawing at it at the Starbucks, you know, when I want to get something. And as I told you, the reason I'm using the smaller Marc Jacobs bag is in the summer, I just want to be unencumbered. I don't want to have all this stuff hanging off of me. So it's really nice sometimes just to run out with my phone and my car keys. And then I have my license and a credit card in here. And it's so cute. They have um, leopard print. They have stripes. I love for summer this cherry print. And they're not even that expensive. How much? Are they like $54? I mean, so it's not cheap, but they're not too, too expensive. So I like to change it up every few months when they get new designs in. So I'm a really big fan. Um, and they are based out of my area too, I think in Los Angeles. So hi, Jimmy Case. They're awesome. Um, I wanted to tell you about them. And last but not least, let me give you a glimpse of something I am enjoying way too much. I know I am not a child, but I am in love with uh, jelly cat, little stuffed animals. So Princey, as so named by Simo here on our channel, or is it Simo? Tell me to pronounce it correctly. This is a Jelly Cat Highland Cow. Jelly Cat is a British company that makes the most whimsical little stuffed animals. They also have like cherries and they have um, eggs, sushi, but I have little farm animals from them. I have a rooster and I have the Highland cow. I have a piggy. I have um, a hedgehog and some sheep. They also make, check this out. This is what I got most recently for my little set here. They make little jelly cat lipsticks and um, <laughs> I just look at smiling and yet somewhat evil at the same time, which I like the most. And I also picked up a little nail polish. I, I mean, how cute. It's got feet. It's got feet. And these are so cute. And they are, let's see, I think they're about $17, $15, $17 for this little lipstick and the little, uh, the little nail polish that you'll see that I'm going to have out on my set. And they just or something that makes me happy. So that was just a handful of items that lately have been making me smile. And sometimes, look, I'm not saying that we all have to indulge in constant retail therapy, but sometimes just a little of it can put a smile on your face. Some designer items at a good price, a nice smelling perfume, a slightly evil looking lipstick with legs, you know, it's all about the little things. And I just wanted to share them with you. Let me know if that was enjoyable content. I would love to see your comments below. And when you comment below, let me know something little that you've picked up in the last few months that's making you smile this summer. I would really love for you to share with all of us below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, I do hope that you subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.